All right, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, if you own a car, you may own a garage. If you own a garage, you may own a garage door opener. And there may be a chance that that garage door opener is old and in need of replacement, which is probably why you're watching this video in the first place. Well, it's a good thing because today I think I found the very best bang for the buck garage door opener that you can find locally. Like you don't have to get online and order it and wait for shipping and all that good stuff to happen. You can go straight to the store and buy this thing. All right, so my house was built in 1990, and I believe this garage door opener was installed in 1990 as well. It is a Genie screw drive, a quarter horsepower, and it is incredibly loud. It's got an old school original button, and for whatever reason, it doesn't have the safety lasers either. So finally, after living with this thing for almost two years, today is the day it comes down and gets replaced with a nice, fresh new one. Let's go ahead and take a listen to what this thing sounds like. You can hear just how loud this thing is. I did replace those bulbs with LEDs, which is why it looks so good. Now for being from the 90s, this garage door opener does work surprisingly well. It's just that it's old school. It's loud and obnoxious. It's a screwdriver. It's only a quarter horsepower. And all there is is just a simple little button on the wall. There's no lasers for safety. It's time for an upgrade. All right, so here it is. This is what I bought and this is what I'm so excited about. Let me show you more. All right, so first off, it is a Genie. We're sticking with Genie. If this one lasted so long and it's from the 90s and it's still going strong, I figured might as well keep it in the family. Now this one, instead of being a screw drive or a chain drive, this one is an ultra quiet belt drive. This one is also three quarter horse, so that's a pretty major improvement over what I already have. And as for accessories, this is pretty cool too. In the box, we get two pre-programmed clickers. We have the multi-function wall console. And what's so cool about this unit is it does also come with a wireless keypad. Now, I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've come from the backyard needing to get right into the garage because I'm dirty or what have you, only to have no way to do it. There's no outside keypad here in order to open the garage door. So then I got to knock on my front door, which is locked all the time, or go around back and knock on the back slider, trying to get a hold of my wife so that she can then click the garage door opener, letting me into the garage. How much better would that be if I had a keypad to just do it myself? Now, yes, I know what you're saying. I could have just went and bought a wireless keypad and probably made it work with this thing, and I could have, but a wireless keypad alone is $45. So why spend 45 bucks on just a wireless keypad while still keeping this antiquated technology of the garage door opener that I currently have, when for just over $100 more, I paid $159 for this thing, I get all of that, a brand new garage door opener that's belt drive, that's way more quiet, way more powerful, and it includes so much more in the way of clickers and accessories, as well as lasers to keep this thing safe. All right, let's go ahead and open the box and see what it looks like inside. Well, first off, we can see the belt here. We can see a bunch of different parts. It's all nicely packaged, nicely organized. And here's that wireless keypad I was talking about. This thing is really nice. You, of course, get your lit garage door opener wall unit, a bunch of nuts and bolts. And here's the lasers that keep this thing safe. Some instruction manuals, two pre-programmed garage door openers for the car, a bunch of wire, the track is in here. And here is the actual motor that's gonna make all of this work. You can see these are the sockets for the bulbs. The model number is 2055 if you're wondering. Hey guys, I'm Jimmy with the General Expert channel here on YouTube. Today we're talking garage door openers. So if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really does help the video and the channel. Well, okay, we've seen what's in the box. Box. Everything looks good. It looks like we have all the parts. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install this thing. All right, for the directions, it's this giant map of sorts. All I'm doing is following step one. You can see in the corner there, and it also shows you which bag of parts you need to be in, which in this case is the orange bag. That's this one here. And just getting started here, I put the pulley into this rail. So I'm gonna go through and get this thing built. Well, after following the directions for about 20 minutes, we have basically the entire garage door opener track and everything completely built. You can see the connection point right here 
here where the belt connects to the other side, and that is through this piece here. It then travels all the way down to the actual motor of the whole thing right here. And it's actually very easy to put all of this together. All you really have to do is just follow a few basic instructions. My next step though is to remove my existing garage door opener. And to do that, I'm just gonna remove these two bolts here and drop this whole thing all the way down. Almost just fell. Last couple of bolts coming out here and the old unit is gonna be completely removed. And that's that, there we are. This is it for this old guy. Take it out. It is now time to carefully place Okay. Okay, I have a pin. So that's secured. Well, we're moving right along here. We have the power head fully secured and hanging under its own bracketry. And now I'm working on the safety beam. I've got them mounted and secured, but now I just need to do the wiring. I also have this guy attached and I just used my existing wiring for that. Well, did you just hear what I heard, which was basically almost nothing? This garage door opener is incredibly silent. It says on the box, ultra quiet, I think is what it says. It does, I just looked at it. And I absolutely agree with that. Compared to what that old garage door opener sounded like, this one is absolutely silent. I mean, you can hear just the slightest kind of humming sound from the motor, but the belt system is absolutely silent in every way. And really the only thing you're really hearing is just that garage door itself kind of clanging as it opens up. And that is an old garage door. I believe the garage doors themselves are original to the house as well. I'm so stoked guys. I can't even believe how quiet this thing is. And just for another point of reference, here's my other Genie garage door opener on the other side. This one's a little bit newer than that one was, but let's go ahead and take a listen to this one as well, just so you can really hear how different these sound. This one, like the other old one, is also a screw drive and is very, very loud. So let's take a listen to this one. I'm sorry, but that is ridiculously loud. Those screw drive garage door openers are just notoriously loud. So I love this new garage door opener so much that I'm pretty sure I, I am gonna buy another one. Although they're not on sale anymore, I just checked, but I am gonna buy another one for this side. It would just be nice to have two matching garage door openers that are very, very quiet. The thing about it is, is these garage doors, when I wanna come out early in the morning and my family's still sleeping, they make so much noise through the whole house and it wakes everyone up. So that was kind of one of the reasons why I wanted a belt drive, why I wanted a super quiet garage door opener. And this one lives up to that every bit of the way. It is so quiet, you cannot hear it in the house at all. So I did get this thing fully and completely installed and I'm not gonna lie, it did take me a very long time to do it. Well, it's partially my fault, but it's also partially because I'm filming this for you guys and that makes it take at least twice as long, if not longer just because of all the considerations that have to be made for filming. But other than that, the install was very straightforward. The directions were on point. Everything was very clearly explained. So that part of it was awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and hear this thing on the downward motion. Absolutely silent. Here's what the included clickers look like. And I do think these are pretty high quality. I really like them. And now onto one of my favorite parts, which is this keypad. This is a nice, high quality, backlit 
keypad. It was very easy to program a new code in here. You can see all the directions are written right there. It's super easy. And pay no attention to the dirty garage wall, but you can see what an old wall clicker looks like compared to these nice, fresh new ones. This thing looks great. And this pad is lit up really well in the dark. All right, so final thoughts here. Let's talk about why I think this garage door opener is the best bang for the buck out there. Even when it's not on sale right now for 189, I paid 159 on sale. This thing rocks, okay? First of all, it's belt drive, which means it's super quiet. And it's three quarter horse. The one that I had was only a quarter horse. So this one's way more powerful. On top of that, it's a dumb garage door opener, meaning it doesn't have all the Wi-Fi features and download an app and all that stuff, which that stuff is cool and all. That's just not what I was looking for. I wanted a basic garage door opener that was powerful, that was quiet, but also came with all the options. Two car clickers, a nice wall clicker, and a keypad. This one ticked all the boxes, everything I was looking for, and it's a good price. And it was on sale when I was looking, so I was stoked for that. So if you're looking for a nice, solid, trustworthy garage door opener where you don't have to worry about hooking it up to Wi-Fi and downloading an app and all that stuff, again, nothing wrong with that. That's just not what I was looking for. This may be the best bang for the buck out there. I looked at both of the big box stores and only one of them sells this one. So this is it guys. I will link this product to this video. Also make sure you check down in the description below for a link there. Well, I really do hope that this video helped you out. If you're looking for a garage door opener but not exactly sure what to buy just because there are so many different kind of spec garage door openers, ones with battery backups and Wi-Fi and all these different things, and some of them cost $300 plus. Again, nothing wrong with that, just for what I was looking for, a dumb garage door opener that had all the bells and whistles, this was the only one I could find, and it's a good price. So I am thoroughly stoked, and like I said, I'm probably gonna be buying another one for this other side. So with that being said, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up, it really does help the video and the channel, and if you've watched this far and you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I'm Jimmy, signing out.